Hey friends, welcome to Owl's Nest Campground in Coaldale, Alberta. Welcome back friends. So in this video, I'm going to show you around Owl's Nest Campground in Coaldale, Alberta. Rollins and I have been here for a while now. And it's kind of funny because when I initially talked to Trevor, the owner about this campground, he was a little apprehensive about uh, shooting video here because parts of it are quite new and a lot of the trees are recently planted so they're very young um, and he just was worried that it wasn't going to look nice enough on video and wasn't going to be appealing to RVers. Well I'm here to tell you right now this is one of the best campgrounds that I've experienced this summer crossing Canada. It is at the edge of Coaldale. Coaldale is a small little town in Alberta yet you're still about um, I think it's 20 kilometers, if that, from Lethbridge. It's on the edge of town, it's quiet, you have everything you need, and more. There's so much more here. First off, the campground itself has 36 sites. About half of those are full service, so you have power, sewer, and water, and that's 30 and 50 amp, I believe he has. And on the other side of the campground, it's a little less, you have power, but you have water spigots uh, strategically placed um, so that basically if you have a decent enough length in hose, you can just run it to the spigot, uh, attach it, fill up your freshwater tank, then unattach it and you're good to go. And for campers that choose that option, on your way out, there's a brand new, like sparkling brand new, double port, I guess we'll call it, dump station. Now, not to mention, this is where if you're a family with kids, especially uh, kids that like to ride bikes, um, yeah you're going to want to check this out. Full on mountain bike park, right? Like, like literally I'm looking at a campsite right there. Parks right here. I'm just on the, on the rise in between the two. And it's like full on like gravel pathways. There's ramps, there's jumps, there's a little uh, gazebo, like shaded gazebo area for the parents to hang out and, you know, socialize and chat while their kids are like, you know, hopefully not wiping out, but you know, they're, they're how up, they're up here having fun you know, riding their bikes. I've seen um, full on like dads with like, you know, all the gear and their sons and as well as like, you know, like little tykes on little bikes, you know, just scooting around because it's, it's fun. Part of the paths are paved, like there's uh, some loops, almost kind of like skateboard. Um, what do they call them? Like bowls. Then there's like the gravel, like jumps and kind of more mountain bikey, off-roady kind of stuff. And yeah, there's like different levels for different ages it's a great little bike park like totally if you're into mountain biking or your kids just like biking and you're camping and want to you know perfect spot and if you're like me and have a dog you are right also next to the city dog park and i'm not talking like a little city dog park for little small dogs and you know like one little you know entrance or whatever this is like a full block i would say half a block wide a full block long lush green grass, some hills, some trees, and they even have like agility equipment in there for the dogs. Um, if you wanna like work with your dog and you know, make them jump through the little hoops and the, over the jumps and stuff like that. They supply bags, there's garbage cans, and it, all of this stuff is connected by a very cool set of walking paths. Um, you have a bit of a dike area up here that you can walk on. The walking paths go into town, plus they go uh, over down over here. Um, the neighborhood itself that is across the road from the park is quiet. It's a nice little neighborhood. Rollins and I have walked around there a bit. It's, yeah. When I rolled in here and got set up, the sites themselves, like they took a lot of time into making sure that the sites were pretty much level. Like I backed up, looked at the, my side to side level and went, oh, I guess we're done. <laughs> like it was that easy. There's Wi-Fi. They actually use Starlink for Wi-Fi. Um, right now they don't have a repeater, so if you really need to depend on the Wi-Fi, ask Trevor to park you closer to the building. Um, if not, you're good. You can always go and sit in the group shelter. There's like picnic tables and stuff in there. That's right next to the office building, so you're good to go. The office building on the other end has washrooms with hot showers. They are not free. They are a loony for five minutes, so basically for a guy like me with uh, no hair to condition, it took like $3. 
And if you compare it to truck stop showers, which are you know anywhere from eight to twelve dollars, it's uh, still a pretty good deal. So paid showers, free Wi-Fi, free dump station. Your camping is awesome. Your sites are great. The area is wonderful. I can't say enough about it. So yeah, 36 sites, everything you need, dump station, washrooms, showers, power sewer water if you need it, power if you don't need the other two things, full on, full fledged, wonderful dog park. And if you have kids with bikes, <laughs> well, you're set. They're gonna be busy. Uh, great little mountain bike park here. All of it's fairly new. So when these trees grow in and give you a little bit of shade, it's gonna be so beautiful here. It's beautiful now, but that's just gonna enhance it even more. So if you're coming through the area, definitely check it out. I'll put their link to their website in the description. So yeah, don't be afraid to give them a chance. And um, all that said, let's take a little look around. Got to fly the drone, checked everything out. And uh, yeah, here we go. So there you have it friends, Owl's Nest Campground, Coaldale, Alberta. You're about 15 to 20 minutes from Lethbridge if you need to go into Costco and Walmart and bigger stores, that kind of deal. Everything you need, mountain bike park, dog park. What more is there to say? That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Uh, for new videos, um, there's going to be a little bit more adventure stuff coming now because I'm not going to have to focus on campgrounds uh, as much as other things. Um, for those who are regular watchers, I am getting a little more work, so I am getting a little more busy. And my time is thinning out a little bit. So I'm going to try and do the best with everything in the coming months. So yeah, stay tuned. 
I'll talk to you all soon. And thanks for watching. Bye. Well, that's it.